Moving on, synthetic beef and male birth control. Two, two uh, of Bill Gates's pet projects for the future. Yeah. So Bill Gates said, what was the quote in the headline? Uh, he said, like, rich countries shouldn't – you want me to find the actual quote? Well, it's just like he, th- he said rich countries should get on, like, 100% synthetic beef diets. Yeah. But it's like, isn't the whole point of being a rich country to, like, eat ribeyes and whatever you want, whenever you want? The whole point of being a rich country is, like, we have fewer people. We've used our resources best. Now we can kind of live with the benefits of this. Like, look at Norway or whatever. It's like, we got oil. We got this. We managed it well. Everyone's healthy. Everyone's rich. Yeah, tri-tip. Tri-tip, brisket. Whatever you got. Boneless tendies. Yeah. Like all these meat things are actually our favorite stuff. And now because we did so good and we're at the bottom of the totem pole, according to the WEF people, now we have to start eating synthetic beef. And it's interesting now because like a lot of people are saying, no, 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 never do it. But eventually when there's meat shortages and meat super expensive because that's what they're going to try to do. Then some people will be like, well, the synthetic beef's cheap and it tastes the same. And that's kind of what it is. I think it's just planting a seed for oh, the yeah. eventual meat shortage then, that they're going to con, con, you know, construe, contrive. It, uh, yeah, ex- exacerbate. Yeah. They're, they're going to put the – like Bill Gates and his buddies are going to put their thumb on the scale and be like, okay, let's get switched to synthetic beef pretty quick now. Yeah, let's control we, some behaviors. We should – Enjoy this fake beef. And then Bill Gates and his buddies are eating bone-in ribeyes, absolute tomahawks cooked to perfection in those broilers that get to 1,000, 1,200 degrees. Mm-hmm. Those fucking, what kind of broilers are those? We didn't, yeah, we didn't, be, we didn't become the best country in the world <coughs> to stop eating steaks like this. Yeah, and then it said for, like, for Africa and poor countries, like, they'll still be on livestock, even though their livestock is less efficient than ours because we do all, like, the awesome good stuff when it comes to farming, like feeding them a diet that's scientifically engineered, you know, Mm. or supplements at least, Mm. um, you know, the water sources are all close and managed. Um, and so Bill Gates goes, so no, I don't think the poorest 80 countries will be eating synthetic meat. That's just gets to be the lucky 1%, right? The, Mm. what we fought for to get synthetic meat. Exactly. And then also there is a simultaneously released a male birth control study now, and it's about to get approved. It sounds like well, it's, it's about to be a, approved for human trials. For so, human trials. So they're happy with what they saw in the mice, and now they're looking for some guinea pig humans. And basically, it lowers the sperm counts of the mice to the point where um, they, were, they were not able to get any other, other mice pregnant. Yeah, 99% effective. 99% effective. And then after four to six weeks of not taking the treatment, uh, their sperm count went back to normal. Returned to normal, yep. Which... I don't I don't think is the right thing. Imagine your sperm count goes to zero. Isn't the sperms what keeps us like vi- was it uh not viral. What's that word? Viral. Viral. Isn't that like isn't that Doesn't that like, put some oomph in your stuff? Isn't the essence of man having all those little things in your balls? Yeah, and you got to and it just drives you. And now if we have it go away, I don't understand. I'm not even going to need the birth control because we're not going to have they're not they're going to be able to smell that we have no sperms. You think so? I think so. I, I just, this is like one of those things where uh, the movie is happening and then some beleaguered scientist elbows a vial and something mixes up in the <laughs> wrong way and goes, oh my God, um, I, I would not volunteer for any of this shit. Uh, it doesn't look good. I think f- w- women's birth control is bad already. Very bad. And uh, this is a non-hormonal version for men. Um I just don't trust it because it's going to knock you down to zero and there's going to be... Hope uh, you come back. Yeah. Hope it comes back. You know how the movies are. Bill Gates and these people are responsible for this. The yeah. COVID people, the same people that brought you COVID. It's like, we're not... What are we going to listen to these people now? Oh, yeah. trust me. Your sperm count will come back. We want you to have kids when you want to have them. From yeah, the people right. who brought you the opioid epidemic yeah. and the ineffective COVID vaccine bring you male yeah. birth control. The people who have been telling you about like population problems and population control and how there's too many people bring you male birth control don't worry it'll come back yeah so not for me i will not be taking that and i will not be eating synthetic beef yeah. and for those reasons i'm out you can't get gains with synthetic beef everyone knows that yep moving on there was a thing we're at a cringe of the week by a lot by now by the way mm-hmm. we're at a cringe of the week 